All right, guys, so here we are. This is the 1080p 30 mode. This is looking awesome, isn't it? Okay, so here we are, guys. We are testing the new HD0 Micro V3 camera. Uh, this is basically a Micro V2 camera with a new lens and with new firmware from Runcam themselves. So we're gonna take a look at the image. And we are dealing with some limited light because it is a cold winter time of year here in Norway. But let's go ahead and take a look at how this image looks. Here we go. I am in the 1080p 30 mode. Ooh, quad feels weird to me then. Oh, I'm in a freaking uh, angle mode. There we go. <clears throat> that was weird. Wow, yeah, okay. This is looking really good. Holy crap, look at that. This is definitely an improvement. Uh, I think my antenna on the quad is broken, by the way. So let's not worry about the breakup. But wow, look at this image. This is looking super nice. <laughs> uh, additionally, I'm flying in 1080p 30 mode, and it doesn't feel so weird at all. I feel like some of the jitter's gone. All right, so here we are in a darker spot. Uh, we're going to go over here and just see what it looks like in the shadows. Wow, it's handling the shadows really well, too. Look at that. I think I can fly in here. Let's see. <laughs> wowie, wowie. This image is incredible. Carl, HD0. Amazing. You guys really did improve the image quality. This looks great. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't need to tell you guys. You guys... Let me know what you think in the comments or something, but my personal opinion in the first 30 seconds to a minute that I've been flying this is this is a huge improvement. This is awesome. Look at that. What an image. Is it walk snail? Is it DJI? No, of course not. It's not supposed to be. Is it HD FPV footage with real time consistent frame rate resolution and latency? Yes, it is. Uh, that breakup is definitely my antenna. My uh, VTX antenna went through a crash uh, recently. I was gonna throw a new one on before this test, but I did not. So that's okay. Let's go ahead and let's take a little ride up to the mountain. What do you guys think? We gotta get up here and just get a nice shot of the scenery because this camera is looking fantastic. Look at that. Look at the detail. This is freaking amazing. What? Absolutely stunning. HD zero. Well played. Absolutely stunning, huh? Look at that. This is HD0, you guys. This isn't walk snail, this isn't DJI. This is HD freaking zero. Incredible. Uh, now this is the 1080p 30 mode. I fly in this mode most often, especially with my seven inch quad. I just like it. All right, let's go ahead and land and switch it over to 720p mode and see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, so you see a tiny bit of resolution drop, but the image still looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and do a similar flight and we'll just take a look. Woo, yeah, so it's a little quicker. Definitely notice that frame rate change and the image still looks really, really good. You can see I've already lost my light. How funny is that? I got my 15 minutes of sunlight for the day here in Norway. Actually, here, I need to shoot up here while I still have some light then, I guess. So we can have some better comparisons here. Okay, yeah, see, it's still looking really, really good. But that 1080p, if you're really looking for the best image quality, 
that 1080p is a definite upgrade. Um, this is great. Yeah, I gotta say, if you're doing fast flights, uh, the 720p mode is definitely nice. Um, but if you're doing if you're doing a uh, cinematic type stuff and you want to use HD zero, which honestly I think works great, uh, I'd recommend it. I'd recommend the 1080p 30 mode. Uh, it just it looks really nice. Let's see if we can fly through here again. Without it crashing. Yeah, with the 1080p mode, you just get a little extra. A little extra detail which is nice now here's what i'll say about this camera specifically and this setup is it is set up for 16 by 9 on purpose because hd zero's goggles are 16 by 9 and so you get to use the full goggle display when you run it in 16 by 9. now i know a lot of people like 4x3 um, especially if you're racing so you get a little extra vertical view and we can take a look at that but 16 by 9 is definitely optimized for the HD0 goggles. That's why they went with this camera configuration. Now you can also swap the lens on the Micro V2 camera and you're going to get pretty similar results to this V3 because the main change on this V3 really actually is just the lens. However, Carl told me that they did do some firmware changes in the run cam camera itself, which is non-upgradable from the V2 camera that's supposed to optimize it for this specific lens. And also I want to find out what this lens is called to see if we can't order spares of this lens because uh, I've been running the Runcam RC5L lens, which was on the Micro Eagle V2 camera, I think it was called. Uh, but yeah, I think this lens is nicer than the Runcam Micro Eagle. But I actually did order a bunch of uh, Runcam Eagle RC5L lenses. So we will take a look at that and do some proper comparisons. But I just wanted to get you guys some cool footage to look at. And you can see that I have lost my sunlight for the day. So we will have to wait another day to do another test. But this camera with this sensor, it's a half inch sensor. It's the same half inch sensor that you had in the Micro V2. Uh, you can see it handles everything really well. The lights, the darks, the shadows, the highlights, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's looking really, really nice, even in that 720p 60 mode. Um, this is the Micro V3 camera. It's essentially a Micro V2 camera, the same exact sensor. The only difference is a brand new lens that uh, Runcam has optimized using some firmware in the camera. So the camera firmware is a little bit different than the Micro V2, and the lens is of course different too. However, if you were to put this lens on the Micro V2 camera body, you would get almost identical performance, I think and maybe we should test that to find out for sure. But Carl said that this Micro V3 still would be better because it is optimized, but that the Micro V2 would be really, really close. So we're gonna just have to do some tests maybe when I have a chance, and you can stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys found this interesting. I think this camera's a huge upgrade. Definitely fully recommend. What do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> awesome.